Hey guys, Matt Waxler here from Wheels Through Time. Over the past several weeks, we've been firing up dozens of the rarest and most storied machines here inside the museum for our Drive for History fundraiser. We appreciate you tuning in. Earlier this week, we fired up, shared the history of this ultra rare 1928 Harley Davidson two cam overhead valve factory prototype hill climber, one of a kind machine doesn't get much rarer than this. Now today I wanted to share with you a couple other machines, actually the counterparts to this bike from Excelsior. Now in the late 1920s, Harley Davidson Indian and Excelsior were really vying for top honors on the dirt tracks and on the hill climb circuit. And uh, the big three, as they were called, poured big, big resources into very, very limited numbers of bikes. Uh, really for factory professional competition. Uh, guys like Joe Petrali, Gene Ryan, Wendy Lindstrom, you know, these guys are famous as NASCAR guys are today. Uh, we're really uh, 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 asked to pilot some of the most uh, powerful and, and incredible machines that had been produced to the air, produced through that era. Uh, late 1920s is really when manufacturers get a grasp on producing big 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 horsepower now the machines in front of me today are excelsior's counterparts to the machine i just fired for you overhead valve 45 cubic inch factory hill climb machines now these bikes are so incredibly rare in total excelsior made approximately 25 of these bikes um Everyone was just a little bit different, really built to suit the rider. Uh, now, the one in front of me right here is among the most special of those. It's actually the prototype for the 24 uh, overhead valve Excelsior. So this machine is a one-off bike uh, that was actually uh, produced in the tool room with uh, uh, the help of Andy Coslow. Andy Coslow uh, was a, a Chicago native. Uh, employee at Excelsior and actually helped design these overhead valve heads here. Uh, so Coslo uh, raced this bike himself. Uh, the bike is incredibly uh, purpose built. So this bike is made to do nothing but go right up the hill. You've got an alcohol carburetor here, big barrel alcohol carburetor. What you see is the twin port uh, exhaust pipes on each head so two pipes per cylinder just one one exhaust valve per cylinder but two pipes uh shifter here you've got your foot clutch out of this side uh baby bosch racing magneto here one of the neat features i really like about this bike is the handlebars if you see you've got kill switch here and way over on the other side you've got kind of an unconventional style throttle instead of the twist grip uh, you've actually got a really just a lever that you'd grab that lever. There's really only wide open. And uh, these bikes were say to said to produce almost 50 horsepower. So 1920s, 50 horsepower. That's big, big stuff from, you know, 10 years earlier, 7, 8, 10 horsepower machines. So incredibly rare stuff. Now, really neat tie-in with Andy Coslow. Uh, Excelsior went out of business in 1931. Uh, due to the Great Depression, and they were owned by Ignace Schwinn. At that time, he kind of just sees uh, the slump in motorcycle sales as uh, something that they really couldn't sustain. Uh, so he shuts down the motorcycle uh, division or uh, shuts down Excelsior and Excelsior Henderson altogether and focuses on the bicycle business. Uh, so when Excelsior closed, uh, Andy Coslow was actually allowed to retain uh, a lot of the castings from the factory racing department. So what you see here uh, is actually a collection of Coslow and early Excelsior motor castings. Um, now all of this collection was actually uh, uh, found in, in Glenview, Illinois. Uh, one of Dale's mentors, Lee Hartung, uh, was a collector of all sorts there and collected uh, everything Chicago and uh, had an incredible collection of motorcycles and uh, in that collection uh, had many of the original patterns, the molds, and unmachined raw castings uh, from Excelsior and, and Coslow's earliest days. Now, Coslow used the overhead valve uh, top ends, hemispherical combustion chamber, two valves per cylinder. You see the two exhaust ports, one intake port. Now, Coslow used these for actually midget car racing. So they'd build big cubic inch you know, 100 cubic inch engines uh, with specially cast engine cases. Uh, you see here the A. Coslow, Andy Coslow, Chicago. Uh, specially cast engine cases, specially cast big bore cylinders, uh, specially he cast heads and flywheels. Um, 
and use a lot of these motors. Uh, you know, they're up to, again up to a hundred cubic inches uh, in midget car racing. So, uh, kind of a neat uh, tangent for uh, uh, of Andy Coslow after his. Uh, uh, history with Excelsior and uh, hill climbing. So now the gold bike behind me, incredibly special bike. It's one of the most storied bikes here at the museum. This bike, again, 1929 overhead valve, 45 cubic inch alcohol burner, basically a one-off machine as they all were. Uh, but this bike was actually uh, raced by Gene Ryan. Now Gene Ryan in 19... Uh, excuse me, August 1930, uh, won the national championship at Mount Garfield. Okay, so this is an actual real original race poster uh, with Gene Ryan, Mount Garfield, Muskegon, Michigan, August 17th, over the top, 45 cubic inch, 750 class champion, and the 61 cubic inch champion. Now, through serial number documentation, we've actually uh, ascertained that, there, that, that this bike is Gene Ryan's actual motorcycle. So uh, again, special frame modified here for the taller overhead valve engine, cast aluminum gas tank, uh, big compression release here. These things are like 15, 16 to one compression. Without the compression release, you can't even kick this motorcycle over. It's incredible. So some of the neatest pieces in the museum that associate with this bike uh, really a great story have all been found in different places so uh, Dale found the bike approximately 30 years ago shortly after found the uh, the original racing poster uh, and then years later uh, in a, a auction lot of documents from the original uh, Excelsior motorcycle company um, he actually found this is an original press release. Gene Ryan is the new national hill climb champion from the event Mount Garfield, Muskegon, Michigan, August 17th, 1930. And the press release goes on to kind of talk about the superior riding skill and uh, uh, the, the incredible power produced by the Excelsior overhead valve machines. And then to tie it all together, this piece that just completes the puzzle, this is a whiskey flask here and you see it's got the actual um, brand of the motorcycle super x gr gene ryan as initials and then on the back you've got mount garfield muskegon michigan august 17th 1930 so this was like the manufacturer's trophy for winning the event uh, name engraved on it and everything so multiple uh, multiple pieces to the puzzle all coming back together uh, to really complete the, the, the story and help us, you know, tell the, the story of this machine and Gene Ryan. So incredibly rare stuff. Uh, this bike is number three out of the 24 produced. So the only place in the world you can see uh, two overhead valve factory hill climbing Excelsiors among dozens of other factory racing machines from Harley Davidson and Indian. Uh, there's no exhibit like this hill climb exhibit. Guys, make sure you check it out next time you're at Wheels. And uh, thanks for tuning in into our drive for history. If you guys are digging what you're seeing, make sure you check out wheelsthroughtime.com forward slash donate and make a contribution today. Thank you.